Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Volant Wings Publishing and it might look familiar to some of you just like a previous review on our YouTube channel because it's a book about BF109 late series and it's Airframe and Miniature number 11 so some of you might be surprised because we reviewed uh, later books recently and now we are getting back to the number 11 well, the explanation is quite simple because it's a second edition as it's written here and we have a small yellow note here that it's updated and expanded version so inside we'll find new information which is up to the date and I think it's really important because recently we saw a lot of kids for the recent um, I mean late versions of the BF109 in different scales so that's why it is important to update the first release of the airframe and miniature number 11 and that's what Volant Wings did recently and updates will include the assessment of the new kits obviously so because the initial release of the book as far as I remember it happened in 2017 so it's not that I would say young book uh, when we are talking about the initial release and then we have also new builds we have updated kit accessory decal and book appendices as you remember there is such thing section in the end of this book as we will see in this video we also get the free bonus content in PDF form which is quite interesting what is this and in total there should be 256 pages so it's a slight increase from the previous 200 pages as far as I remember and we have obviously the uh, commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review so first of all printing format is typical it's a color printed book and as you can see it's quite thick so do not underestimate it it is uh, full of information and I would recommend to uh, store it properly so that you won't break the spine in case you are care uh, about the condition of the book in my opinion it's really important to preserve these publications because they're uh, I would say quite rare and they get sold out quickly so it would be difficult to find another one later so we open the book and here we have a standard structure so we have airframe chapters and miniature chapters in both we have four chapters I mean in each we have four chapters and there, then there is also appendix about the accessories, kits and other stuff. Everything starts with the glossary so that you can understand what is uh, mentioned in the book because some of the short words are used here and there. And of course we start with the history, why these late versions were developed, uh, how the development went through. As you can see everything is combined together with the black and white photos and this might be handy for some build ideas maybe for some diorama builds so that you can imagine the full scenery which you would like to copy doesn't matter which scale you pick and I will repeat it later in the video review because it applies basically to the whole content of this book nevertheless here we start with the chapter number one it's a evolution of this aircraft as you can see it is a description of the version uh, site profile and then we have a full text and in some cases it is also accompanied with a black and white photos if these are available for this particular type and in my opinion this is a handy chapter which will give you a better understanding of this or that version why for example this um, which type we are talking about here for example this one G3U2 what is the difference between the G4 trop and why they were introduced why they were useful modifications for this aircraft and then we proceed with the camouflage and markings in my opinion this is a quite interesting chapter I always interested in seeing what is actually included inside here because as you can see we have a color print combined together with the black and white photos we have also color profiles and this might be handy for picking something different from what you get out of the box in various kits so be sure to check them out because there are a lot of colorful options which will look quite unusual in various scales and again i think it's a really good uh, stuff to investigate so we even have some color photos surprisingly because at this time the color film was uh, used 
I would say widely, more widely, and that's why we have some cover photos available of this particular aircraft. And I would say this time the camouflage and markings chapter is quite extensive, as you can see it spans over uh, several um, pages. And then we start with a list of the various kits, here we have a clear separation by the scale. So for example here you can see 144, here comes 172nd. And then we proceed with the 148, obviously it's Edward kids. And then we have 135, 132nd. And I think there will be 124 or no. I guess no. But anyway, here we continue with the building and selection. So this chapter or this section is dedicated to the builds, model builds, so that you can understand what you uh, can replicate in this or that scale. Authors try to include the variety of the kits, for example here we start with the fine modes 172nd and then we proceed with the Tamiya 148, which is relatively new I would say. Obviously there will be also included Edward version, which we reviewed in our YouTube channel, so you can find video review easily and check the original plastic. Then we proceed with the border models in a quite unusual 135 scale as you can see there are some clear parts included so it might be an interesting choice for some others who would like to use it in some military diorama maybe there is also Hasegawa 132nd it is uh, let's say cooperation between Hasegawa and Revel because as far as I remember it was also reboxed as Revel and then we come to another useful chapter it's uh, building a collection so here we get a bit more detailed explanation on the differences between various types as you can see each version is given as a drawing and we have a nice writings to the main differences as you can see there was even an aircraft with a nose winding gear quite unusual type for BF-109 and then we proceed with this chapter for several pages but that's not all because then comes another my favorite it's in detail section so here we have uh, detailed photos and drawings of the real aircraft and this stuff might be handy for those modelers who would like to super detail their own models and again, it doesn't matter which scale you pick, because still there will be something what you can copy in your model. And as you can see, authors actually show you a lot of stuff inside, outside, and both engine, wing mechanization, all the stuff is thoroughly examined. And you can see that you have plenty of information for a quite detailed build, even in the big scale. So, and it spans over uh, several pages, I would say several tens. And here we start with a kit list. So that's something what I was saying, it will be updated. So here we have all the new kits, new releases included. And you can pick your favorite in order to build it. Of course, there is also a list of accessories, list of decals here. And then we have also bibliography which lists all the handy books for this build, for this aircraft. And another nice bonus is a set of 148 scale drawings. So in case you like to rescribe your models or you like to check the panel lines, that's something what will be useful. And on the last or, or on the rear side of the cover we have a price tag, it's 25.95 British pounds, so it's pretty much the same price well as the previous issues from the same series, and it should be already available, but I would recommend to hurry, because these books, they get sold out quickly, and that's actually another reason why it was expanded, because it was sold out for quite a long time. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.